Hello everybody and welcome to the Monster Totems Mod Showcase. I am Mspace Dev, the creator of the mod, and today I'll be showing you how to get started. Monster Totems is a mod created for 1.11.2 and up, and strives to give you a new and unique way to prevent monster spawns. As you can see, there are some items in my hotbar that I'll use for this showcase. So firstly, we've got Spirit Powder. This item has the power to suck the spirit right out of mobs and is also used to craft other useful blocks and items. So let's see how this works. To suck the spirit out of a mob, you must first throw some spirit powder onto it. This will release its spirit. To physically receive the spirit, you will have to kill the mob using a spirit knife. Any other forms of death will result in the spirit being lost, as you can see here. Alright, now that we have our creeper spirit, we must infuse its power into a log. To do this, simply right click the spirit onto any log. This will turn the log into an infused log, specifically a creeper one. Infused logs give off some ambient light, but most importantly, are used to create totem heads. To create a totem head, you must carve the infused log. To do this, right click the log three times with the carving tool, and it will turn into a totem head. Let's explain how the totem base operates. The distance that a totem head will prevent mobs from spawning is purely based on what the totem base it sits on. You can see the ranges visually here. The green ring is 64 blocks, orange is 96 blocks, and red is 128 blocks. You may ignore the blue for now. These values can be easily altered in the config and be set to virtually infinite. Each totem head will block the spawns of a mob it was derived from. For example, this creeper totem head will block the spawns of only creepers. And because it is on a tier 3 totem base, no creepers will spawn within a 128 block radius. Let's see how that works. Let me turn on mob spawning. If we take a quick look around, we'll notice that there is not a single creeper around. And that's because of this creeper totem head. However, if I destroy the creeper totem head, and just kill the mobs to reset the mob cap. As you can see, we can instantly see some creepers spawning. Totem bases aren't limited to a single totem head, however. You are able to stack 12 totem heads on top of the base at once. Now, this may be a tad tall, and that's where I introduce compressed totem heads. Compressed totem heads combine the effects of four totem heads into a one block space. There are four types of compressed totem heads. Overworld, Unnatural, Nether, and Master. Finally, Monster Totems comes equipped with a suitable config. To get there, go to Mod Options, search for Monster Totems and click Config. Here you can see we have a couple options. The first option is Cubic Range, toggles between whether the totem base will prevent spawns within a square radius or a circle radius. The next option, Prevent Spawners, controls whether the totem will block spawns coming from vanilla mob spawners or not. The next option, Random Spirits, controls whether a mob will drop a random spirit on death. This allows players to get a master totem without having to explore as much. These final three options simply control the range at which the totem base will prevent spawns. Let's demonstrate this. I will set the totem base range to 256 blocks and click done. And now we're going to fly to the 128 block border in spectator. Go back into creative. No mob spawn. If we go back into spectator, Apply to the 256 block border, go back into creative, and now you can see they are all spawning at this border here. Uh, note if we had to set is cubic range to false, we would have seen some of these mobs on here as it would have been a circle radius, so it would have cut into the square. But because it's on this mode, we just see them on the border, and then obviously this line extends a lot further, another 128 blocks in that direction. So thank you so much for watching, the link to the mod is in the description and if you'd like to support me on Patreon, you can also find a link in the description and on the end screen. This has been Mspace Dev and I'll see you all later.